Hello, my name's Kim Carlisle, and we live near Sheridan, Indiana. We have a shop full of high Z glassware, and we are open at this time by appointment only. All you have to do is give us a call, text, or email, and if you're passing through Indiana this fall, you can set up an appointment and come see the high Z that we have for sale. This morning's video is going to be new items that we're adding to the shop. We have a shop full of high Z, and every month, we take about a six foot table full of new purchases we've made and we add them to the shop. That way you don't have to look at everything in the shop to see the new things we've added since last month. We do buy high Z glassware, one piece or an entire collection. So if you have anything you're interested in the selling, you might give us a call. You might get a pencil and paper handy real quick. I'm gonna show you our email address in case you wanna contact us about something in this morning's video. Again, my name is Kim Carlisle. Email is the letter K, C-A-R-L-I-S-L, at A-T-T dot N-E-T. Please note there's no E on the end of Carlisle on the email address. So we're gonna get right to it. Here's a brief little snapshot of the shop. You see we have quite a bit of high Z to choose from if you do stop by. You see anything in these cases of the pan through them, we're more than willing to sell them to you. So let's get right to the items that we're adding to the shop for this month. I'll give you a quick, quick little preview of what we're gonna be adding, and then I'll go through each item, tell you its condition, the price, and anything else about it. Like I say, if you see anything you want, all you have to do is contact us and tell us that you want the item, and we'll ship it out. If it's a small item, we will combine several weeks of videos uh, so you don't have to have an empty box shipped to you with just one item. We can combine several items over a course of a month or so. So we're going to get started right here. Back in the far corner, we have a Fair Acre water pitcher. It's in Flamingo, Diamond Optic, and the price is $185. It's signed in the construction here at the bottom. Next, we have an Optic Tooth Flamingo water pitcher. It's priced $200. Diamond Optic, very good condition. And to go along with that, if you're interested, we have seven of these footed soda glasses. No repairs on any of them. They're $25 a piece. You can buy one, two, three, five, seven, whatever number of these you want to go with your pitcher if you already have one. Have a pair of shelf supports. They're matching shelf supports. Each one of these columns has a little cutting going up the column. Uh, there's a molded place right here for a cord. You can put a cord under it, put a light in it so you can light up your column and the glass shelf you're going to put these on. These uh, shelf supports have the round top, have the oval top. There are other shelf supports made in the same pattern with an oval top to them. The pair on these is priced $4.95 for the pair. Have a pillow syrup pitcher. I would call this one almost mint. There's no damage on it, very, very little wear scratches, no cloud inside, and it's got the little acorn finial on top of it with a little flipper on top. Everything's good to go. It's priced $125. We have two items here. I actually bought these in the Heise Museum several years ago. They were sold as stoppers. They're really doorknobs. This one happens, happens to have a, a Heise sticker on it. It's priced $85. We have two of these. You can buy one or two. Have a Charlotte Goblet, Moon Gleam Stem, Hawthorne Top. Price on it's $175. Excuse me, price on it's $185. Here's a Saucer Champagne, same pattern, and it's priced $145. We have up to, I think, a dozen of these dolphin-footed flamingo empress tumblers, and they're priced 135 apiece. You can take one, or you can take the whole dozen of them. Have three Sahara Favor vases. We have the 4230, priced 175. 4231, priced also at 175. And the number 4228, and this price 245. We're actually looking for this particular shape of favorite vase for our collection and tangerine. If you have one, we'll give you $2,000 cash for it. Have two Empress stoppers for the cruet, and they're priced $15 a piece. They're not ground in, so if you have a 
crit needs to go into. You don't have to worry about this being ground too small. You can buy one or two. Banded Flute Moon Gleam Large Tray, and it's priced $275. Does have a minimal amount of wear on the inside of it. Circle Pear Cologne Bottle. It's got the long full dripper in it, marked in the center of the bottom. And the price on this in Flamingo is $245. Hard to find perfume bottle. This is the horse head with the sherry bowl on top of it. This bowl has been put on a little bit cockeyed. Has a little added cutting to the base. If you look in the animal book, the animal elect book that was put out in the 1970s, it actually shows this horse head with that particular cutting on it with a broken bowl on it. And it's priced $365. Have a Regency candy box and cover. It is divided, very good condition. Also comes undivided, and it's priced $225. Yeoman Shot Glass and Flamingo Diamond Optic, $65. It's a blown piece, so it is not marked. Have a pair of Trident Candle Holders and Alexanderite. They're priced $775 for the pair, and I'll put it over in this room so you can actually see the Alexanderite color. Very nice color in this pair of candlesticks. The bases are the same height. A Winchester shot glass, and it's priced $165. Very popular etching. Now we have a lovely two-quart cobalt cocktail shaker with a very nice engraving on the top, polished out the clear, and this honeycomb design on the bottom. It is two-quart, perfectly clean on the inside of it, no problems with it whatsoever, and it's priced $650. Really a nice cut cocktail shaker. We only put three of these out on the table, but we do have six of them. They have the George the Six cutting on it, Shasta stem, and they're priced $65 a piece. You can take one through six, whatever it is you want. Here's a Fox Chase Universal Goblet. It's priced $45. Hard to find on a goblet. Usually you see this on flat bottom barware. We have a pair of show horses. The first show horse is marked on the back of the leg. Stands up straight. Feet are in very good shape. High polish on these feet. No, un no unsightly mold marks or anything in it does turn yellow under a black light and it's priced $675. Has the ears together. The other one, which is a mirror image of it, stands up straight, nice polished bottom on it. It is not marked and it does not fluoresce under a black light. And the price on this is $550. And the ears are together. Have a standing pony. It is marked with the Diamond H. It's crystal, the mane, the ears, the tail, and the bottom part of the hooves are all frosted or highlighted. It is marked with the Diamond H. It does fluoresce under black light. This is called highlighting when they do this, and it's priced $110. Right up above the Diamond H, there's a little spot that looks like a piece of cloud in there. I was not able to get that off there, so that is still there. Very nice little item. Pineapple and Fan Emerald Rose Bowl is priced $135. It has a bruise in it on the inside bottom. It looks like someone has dropped a marble or something inside it, and it put a round bruise, about half the size of a marble, on the inside of it. No damage on the outside. Very hard to find little piece. Have two pair of Empress Salt and Pepper Shakers. First, we have Flamingo with the Flamingo Tops. They have this rough grind on top, like all these salt and pepper shakers do. And the price on this flamingo, it's clean inside, is $135. Then we have the same thing in Alexanderite. Let me show you the color of this going in the other room. Nice Alexanderite color. Metal tops on it. Again, both of these have rough tops on top. Uh, you'll see some little bitty chips on the top, or some not so little. 
those old chips on top where they just put those on a flat mill and give them a quick little push just to grind off those tops so they weren't sharp. No damage on it, clean on the inside, and it's priced $3.95 for the pair. Banded flute tray and flamingo, priced the same as the moon claim one, $275. It's got a minor amount of wear inside it. It's got the large diamond H just like the moon claim one. It's priced $275. Have a seahorse cocktail. What's unusual about this it has these little bitty cut area on the base that are frosted. The seahorse is frosted and it has a ram's horn optic bowl and it is marked at the top of the seahorse's head on that side. Very unusual piece to have this kind of a decoration on it and the ram's horn bowl. It's $135. And on this one side on the foot, there's a little bit of wear on this one side. If you buy this, I'll try to take that wear out, but I won't guarantee that I can get it all off of there. Here's a number 1000 marmalade. It is marked with the high Z diamond H mark. It's in Alexandrite. It's priced 875. And again, we'll give you a picture. This has a really nice Alexandrite color to it. Putney and Diamond Point toothpick holder. No problems. $125. Is not marked. Have two salt sellers. We have a pillows, oval salt. It is marked in the bottom at $65. It is rough around the top only from coming out of the mold. There's no damage on it. It's just a rough, hard to get those little bitty points coming out of the mold okay. Fandango salt seller, marked $12. Pair of Columbia candle holders, nice little items, very good quality. Someone has added a little cutting around the base of them. And they're priced $20 for the pair. And it's got five little flutes that they tool. These come out of the mold and they did them several ways. They did them where they were cupped up. They did them where they were cupped, uh, flared out. And they did them flat. And then they did them with crimps like this on them. We have a pair. You can buy one or two Duquesne cocktail glasses, Monticelli cutting. And if you look on the inside, this is supposed to resemble a cobweb. Have two of these, you can buy one or two, and they're priced $35 a piece. Pair of swan handle candle holders, they're in Sahara, they're priced $375. They do have minor wear to the base. And when you buy these candle holders, you have to watch very closely there at the swan's beak because if those handles get bumped, that will have a fracture right there. All four handles are good on these candle holders, but you do have to watch these. They're very prone to have fractures in them. Have a Carcassonne flagon in Alexanderite. Price on it's $175. Again, nice Alexanderite color. The reason we take it in the other room was because this room where we have this table set up has fluorescent light. And Alexanderite doesn't look well under fluorescent light. Have an aristocrat tall candy jar. I believe this is Killarney cutting on it. Also has a cutting on the lid. Very good condition. It's priced $850 when you buy these tall candy jars. They have this little pin, pineapple type finial on top, and on top of that's a little ball. You want to make sure that ball is on top of there that hasn't been knocked off. If that ball's been knocked off there, sometimes those are ground down, and people won't tell you that they've been damaged. Without that ball, it's not a good lid. Nice cutting. Have a pair of bamboo flint. Flamingo candle holders, flamingo socket, crystal stem and foot. This one has a little cutting on the base. It has little notches on it that kind of resembles bamboo. And there are, it's a cut design around the top of that candle holder. These candle holders, the feet are the same size on the bottom. However, the sockets, it's a good pair, but if you notice, the sockets are just a little bit different in shade. Probably made during a different time of the week. Next, we have a Moon Gleam tobacco jar. Very good condition, signed with a large diamond H in the middle of the bottom. This has a lid. This one does not have the funnel type lid that you usually see in it that holds all the liquid inside. It is nice and lit, nice and clear inside. The lid fits in there. It has just a slight amount of wobble to it. Beautiful jar, and it's priced $675.
Spanish goblet. I believe we have seven available. You can take one through seven, any number of them you want, and they're priced $55 a piece. Have two Spanish wines, and they're priced $95 a piece. Now we have two bakeware. These are little custard dishes. They were made so you could put your food in it and cook your food in the oven. Heisey just made bakeware for a short amount of time because it got sued over it. Has a diamond H on the bottom. These are generally poor quality glass. They have a lot of mold flaws in them, a lot of swirls in the glass. It's got a little bit of wear on it, not too bad a condition at all. And they're priced $85 a piece. We have two of them. You can buy one or two. Lodestar Dawn Ashtray, probably for cigars, since it has a very large opening here to lay your cigar on. It's priced $85. And this one, the bottom of it has never been ground flat. Last item is a Lodestar Candle Holder in Dawn. Good condition. No problems with it. And it's priced $195. That concludes our video for this morning. Hope you see something you like. If not, we will have another video this coming Thursday called Half Price Thursday. That's when we go into the display room and we pull things out, put them on this table, and everything will be priced half of what's on it. See anything you like, just give us a call, text, or email. Thanks a lot and goodbye.